Hey neighbors, my name is John Salmon, broker of Salmon Lyre Realty and retired chef. Today, we are gonna be making some mac and cheese from scratch. Did you know that October is uh, the month of pasta and then October 17th is National Pasta Day? So whether you love the nostalgic flavor of Kraft mac and cheese or you like to make it yourself with a cheddar, today we're gonna be making a Gruyere mac and cheese with applewood smoked bacon. So when you see the recipe come together, you'll notice a couple of things. I purposely don't use the bacon fat to make the base of the cheese sauce. We want the bacon to speak for itself. We're using Gruyere cheese, which is a cheese from Switzerland made from cow's milk. Um, it is a very buttery, earthy kind of nutty flavor so what we'd love to happen is the creaminess and the earthy butteriness of the cheese to then complement well with the bacon added to the dish and today we'll be using shell pasta you can use whatever kind of pasta you like uh, my family likes shell pasta so that's what we're going to be using with today so what we'll do is we will put the uh, recipe on the screen and you can take it you can pause and take the recipe and then after that you will kind of show you the steps on how we make it hope you enjoy We are adding the butter to start. The pan is on like a medium, medium high. We are using unsalted butter. You want to go with unsalted. That way, later on, when you're seasoning the dish at the end, you can control it. Otherwise, you could risk being too salty. So we want it to be completely melted, but not burn or brown. So that's why it's on that medium heat. Once the butter is melted, we will add flour. And I've switched to a whisk. I want the uh, flour to be completely mixed with the butter. And once that flour is mixed, just give it a second or two to cook a little bit. We want to take kind of that raw flour flavor out of that, uh, out of the pot. And next, once that's done, we will add the milk and the heavy cream. We like to use a whole milk and the heavy cream. It's going to give it a really big richness. It's going to give something for the cheese to bind to. Once the, the, pot starts to heat up a little bit then the flour will start to thicken that cream so we'll add the nutmeg to the pot stir it really well get it incorporated really well you'll see um, as that's happening it'll continue to thicken and then once it's thickened we can just go ahead and put our cheese in we are going to just continue to just stir the cheese, stir the cheese, stir the cheese until it's really creamy. You'll see the kind of the ribbons of the cheesy, cheesy sauce as you're lifting the, the whisk. And once that, once that occurs, you can go ahead and pour your pasta in there. And so in this recipe, I put in uh, 12 ounces. That's the raw weight of the pasta. Before I cooked it, I weighed out 12 ounces of pasta. The cheese will coat it really well. Uh, if you want it to be a little bit cheesier, you can go with less pasta and have it just really cheesy. Um, so you can go with like maybe 10 ounces of pasta before cooking weight. Um, but otherwise, you know, do that. And we've added the bacon and folded that all in. And as you can see, we have our finished product. 